smart meters, cell phone towers, any kind of radiation. The toxification of everybody and everything. Weather modification program. We're having an event here to protest Bohemian Grove. Those who stood guard at the gates of Bohemian Grove had high hopes that those attending the all men's retreat would pay attention to their concerns. I'm here at the Bohemian Grove event to protest against militarism and against imperialism. What's happening right behind me at this place and others like it, decisions are being made that affect all of us, yet the people in there answer to none of us. Certainly they came to the right place as far as trying to reach the rich and powerful. The more than 100-year-old annual conference has been attended by everyone from Dick Cheney, Newt Gingrich, Henry Kissinger, and Thomas Keene, the man who, two years after this photo was taken, would head up the 9-11 Commission. Bohemian Grove is located on the outskirts of this tiny California town of Monterio. And for more than 30 years, protesters have also been coming through here to have their messages heard outside the gate. Their messages that have, over the last few years, changed immensely. The oligarchy, the evilarchy as I call it, are trying to bring about a new world order. That means the abolition of all society as we now know it. Their plan is to reduce the population of the planet. Population reduction, just one of many claims and concerns by those who attended this weekend's protest, blaming those inside. In the past, heads of major electric companies like Pacific Gas and Electric attended Bohemian Grove. A popular issue this year, smart meters, a new technology used by some electric companies that records and communicates electricity consumption. We're referring to them as smart murder meters now because people are getting very, very sick. Bernice Heisler says radiation from smart meters has poisoned her daughter. She's been having severe pain burning in her head above her ears like fires. She's had palpitations of her heart. Those here say the disease is called Morgellons. It's a new uh, disease that is characterized and brought down from the skies on all of us. And what you do is you hold it to your skin and you'll see these opalescent luminous strands. And, and everybody has got this. Some say the men attending Bohemian Grove should be charged with murder. Though there is no evidence of it, they say rituals that take place during the cremation of care ceremony involve symbolically sacrificing children. The killing of children, whether ceremonial or in actuality, is a crime. Some believe it actually happens. There was an event and it was there and that's where they terminated the life of this child for the purpose of granting even more power over this country by the Catholic Church. I need direct evidence, you know. Well, the and evidence is the child is gone. Yeah, I there's a lot of children missing and I we can't just blame it all on the Bohemian Grove. As you can see, the tensions here are high with arguments breaking out between protesters. As the arguments have become child sacrifice and Satan worship and, and really illegitimate claims, you know. No, no, really. And these are the fireworks you probably knew after the cremation of care. Down the road a bit, activist Mary Moore says she no longer attends the protests, even though she organized them for 31 years and has an office filled with information collected from Bohemian Grove. She says the new generation of protesters have made the real issue of what goes on disappear. There is no conspiracy happening up there. It's just rich and powerful men talking to each other, exchanging information that you and I aren't privy to. Perhaps this is one point everyone agrees on. 95% of us are getting screwed at least five different ways while they're up there laughing their butts off. With that what happens inside Bohemian Grove affects a large portion of the population. The most have no idea this secret retreat even exists. In Monterio, California, Christine Frizzau, RT.